Investigators say that security guard jumped in to help after witnessing the shooting. We've since learned that security guard is also a part-time police officer at Cook County Hospital. It is still not yet known tonight what led up to that argument that started this and ended with one person dead and another seriously hurt. A disturbance turns deadly in Chicago's South Shore neighborhood, leaving neighbors feeling unsettled. Really bad to have to live in a neighborhood that you don't feel safe. Chicago police say two people were shot Thursday afternoon, leaving one man seriously injured and the other dead. This happened on 71st Street near Jeffrey outside this Walgreens. Multiple evidence markers seen here placed near shell casings at the scene. Investigators say two men got into an argument that escalated and the 25 year old man shot the 22 year old man in the torso. They say a security guard at a nearby store saw what was happening and pulled out his own gun, shooting the 25 year old. When he heard the shots uh, being fired alongside the Walgreens. He did come out, uh, identify himself, and then re respond fire. The 25-year-old was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center, where he later died. Tonight, South Shore residents are asking for a larger police presence at this intersection. We have a problem here. If a car was sitting here, a police car, it would stop a lot of things, you know, that's happening that shouldn't be happening. Ian McGee is hoping more community oriented events could help stop the violence in his neighborhood. It's just another instance of uh, crime in the city of Chicago that we as, a, uh, as citizens of this community and Ch Chicago at large uh, do, do have a hand in uh, stopping. The medical examiner's office has not yet released the identity of the man who died. The 22 year old was also taken here to the University of Chicago Medical Center. Last we heard in critical condition. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC 7 Chicago Eyewitness News.